Hello boys and girls, welcome to a new IGCSE physics video. In this video, we'll talk about resistance. Not the resistance in the simple circuit, but the difficult question about the how the resistance will change according to different length or cross-section area. In the past paper, you rarely see them appear because uh, from 2015 to 2004, time zone 1, uh, I tried to look for them. Uh, but they only appear four times as shown here. I will do uh, in this video 2004 June question 9 to you. You can try the rest by yourself if you are interested. Uh, but for the appeal rates, we can tell among these 24 possibilities, there are only four cases. That means the statistical uh, appeal rate will be about 17%. Having small chance of seeing these questions doesn't mean they are not important. Instead, once you understand this method, uh, you will find they are pretty standardized and you'll find it quite easy to do it. Secondly, this is also one kind of question which distinguish you and the other candidates from A star or A because it's relatively uh, more difficult than the other questions in, in your IGCSE paper. And lastly, if you are planning to take physics as one of the subjects in IB or A-level in the future, you probably need to understand this and uh, this gives you a taste of how it looks like in the future when you study physics. If you can't even understand this after the video, probably you need to rethink again whether you should take physics in the future. Before we start, let's quickly review how the resistance will be changed by different factors. If you have my note here, then you will see there are four factors. Length, cross-section area, resistivity, which depends on material, and lastly, the temperature. And in IGCSE, we can have an equation which are uh, having these three, the first three factors, into one equation together with the resistance as shown here. The latter row here represent the resistivity, L represent length and A represent cross section area. At the same time you may also consider depending on the question change cross section area to usually since it's a circular area then change it to pi r squared which r is the radius obviously. So here is an example from the past paper. Uh, for part A, it's not so relevant, so I skip that. For part B, usually it asks you about the relationship between the length or cross section area to the resistance, basically what I told you in the last slide. So um, by meaning itself, of course, you're not going to write this directly, but uh, by symbol itself, basically you would say uh, the length will be propor directly proportional to the resistance while the area or uh, is inversely proportional to the resistance itself. Uh, in part C, what it does is it tells you there are two different resistors with different resistance uh, in the wire where they have the same length and same kind of material. So uh, the question asks you to calculate uh, the ratio of one area over the other area. So what you can do first, usually uh, in a standardized way, uh, I will prefer to write down uh, the resistance since now you know resistance, right? So resistance, uh, the first one 12 and the second one 4 ohm. And they equal to the equation that we have written just now in the previous slide, rho L over A. So um, I will use a subscript uh, to represent which area it is because uh, this one with 12 ohm this one will have different area of course with the form that one while the rest will be the same so I, I don't really bother to use any other subscript since they are all the same. Uh, after that you'll find of course the um, since they are having the same material so this one will cancel with this one the length will also be cancelled as well and therefore you can have only these two a and since uh, you know some manipulation of the fraction you have a4 over a12 and since you note these number equal to these fraction then you can tell from what 
the question asks you 12 1 over 4 on that one that means uh, it will be opposite instead because if you look at that what we did is uh, opposite of what we request from the question therefore this ratio will be 4 over 12 instead and therefore you simplify it the ratio will be 1 to 3 here is another example that I just made up to you um, you can pause the video and read the question first okay so I assume you have already tried the question here is a solution so what you're gonna do is uh, I would say uh, usually write down RA over RB when you compare two wires resistance and then once again you use this and this uh, formula basically substitute this into this and this into this with all the subscript a b a and b directly after that by looking at the question since question say wire b has a triple length of a and also five times of radius at a then what i do is of course change lb and rb uh, with what is described here then you got three la and five la here one thing that you should pay attention here is a uh, five L A is in a bracket because you simply substitute and the square is outside, so you have to square the five as well. At the end, you will find uh, by you know figuring out the fraction. Well, I assume you you can do it by yourself in maths. Then the answer should be twenty five over three. Here is another example, uh, just a little bit different. Once again, you should pause the video and try to do it by yourself first. Okay, the solution for this question is, once again, you uh, the usual step, you, uh, you plug in the equation uh, for RA and RB. And what you do is, uh, once again, look at the question. The question say YB has a half of the length of YA and double radius of YA as well. Uh, then you simply express it here. Once again, don't forget the bracket for the R since you have a square here. Although the question this time uh, told you that the resistance of B is already 9, but I'll, I'll do it at last. So uh, you will see what will happen later on. Anyway, so uh, after you're figuring out the fraction or if you really find it is a bit difficult then you can uh, do what I showed you here remember this is actually a division symbol here and then if you I guess you learn it if you want to you know um, handle this easily you just basically change it to a multiply and flip the, the fraction and therefore you find this from what you have here and eventually you will find uh, you know these things of course uh, they, 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 they must cancel out basically uh, at the end and eventually you find 8 over 1 and don't forget your question asks you to find resistance of A and therefore by looking at what you have at the beginning and what you have now uh, and well RB is actually known to be 9 and therefore RA by looking at you know these equation then you'll find out it will be 72 ohm so here's a bonus question for you uh, as I said if you want to study physics in IB or A level uh, this kind of question is pretty pretty common uh, in the future so um, you can use this equation I show here which is the gravitational acceleration equal to universal uh, constant and also the mass of the planet and also the radius of the planet you may try to pause the video and try to do it now okay here is the solution um, the question asks you to find the ratio of the gravitational acceleration on planet A over planet B so what you do is once again you see given equation and you can find you can write this and also the same for B uh, at the bottom of the fraction and once again you look at what is described in the question is that A has a double mass of planet B while the radius is only one third so what you do is you change MA and RA accordingly and once again don't forget since you have a square here 
here and therefore uh, when you substitute you want to put a bracket here so that it will become 1 over 9 instead at the end you will find uh, the answer will be 18 over 1 and basically that's the answer the ratio for how the gravitational acceleration is different for these two planets although you do not know exactly uh, what it is but you know the ratio Here you have it, boys and girls. Now you know how to do the ratio question in physics. If you find this video useful, please give me a like and share this to your friends. I will wish to see you again in the future when you study IB physics.